Hello viewers, welcome to MathTech. I am Amit Sharma. In this video, we are going to solve a question of partial differential equation from CSIR net June 2021. The question is from the topic Cauchy initial value problem. So without a delay, let's start. Question is, which of the following expression for u equal to uxt are solution of ut minus e to the power minus t ux plus u equal to 0 with ux comma 0 is equal to x. Option number 1 e to the power t into x plus e to the power t minus 1. Option 2, e to the power minus t into x minus e to the power minus t plus 1. Option 3, x minus e to the power t plus 1. Option 4, x into e to the power t. Now, the given partial differential equation is written as ut minus e to the power minus t ux is equal to minus u, which is further written as minus of e to the power minus t into ux plus 1 into u of t is equal to minus u. Now this is the value of P, this is the value of Q and this is the value of R. Now Lagrange's equation is dx by P divided by dt by Q is equal to du by R. Now substituting the value of PQR, we get dx divided by minus of e to the power minus t which is equal to dt divided by 1 which is equal to du by minus u. Now take first and second term, we get dx divided by e to the power minus t minus of e to the power minus t is equal to dt which is further written as dx is equal to minus of e to the power minus t into dt which is further written as dx plus e to the power minus t plus dt is equal to 0. Now integrating both sides we get x minus e to the power minus t is equal to c1. This is the value of c1. Now take second and third term we get dt by 1 is equal to du divided by minus u which is further written as du divided by u is equal to minus dt. Now integrating both sides we get log of u is equal to minus t plus log of c2. Now take the log of c2 in the left hand side we get log of u minus log of c2 is equal to minus t which is further written as log of u by c2 is equal to minus t. This implies u by c2 is equal to e to the power minus t. From this we get the value of c2 is u into e to the power t. Now the general solution is c2 is equal to phi of c1. Now substituting the value of c2 and c1 we get u into e to the power t is equal to phi of x minus e to the power minus t. This implies the value of u is e to the power minus t phi of x minus e to the power minus t. Now substituting initial condition u of x0 is equal to x this implies we have to take t equal to 0. This is equal to x is equal to phi of x minus 1. Now we have to find the value of phi of x. Take capital T is equal to x minus 1. From this we get the value of x which is t plus 1. This implies the value of phi of t is equal to t plus 1. Now from this we get the value of phi of x minus e to the power minus t which is equal to x minus e to the power minus t plus 1. Now substituting the value of phi of x minus e to the power minus t in the solution, we get u is equal to e to the power minus t into x minus e to the power minus t plus 1. This implies option 2 is correct. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like the content, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. If you have any query, comment me. Thank you very much.